Greetings, undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Lanky Guy, and welcome back to home. Yeah, we got just a party in here. We've got the alchemist, we've got me, we got the blacksmith, we got the blacksmith's daughter who just recently got healed from an infection from a demon. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, just, just stuff has gone down. The E, that E is still every now and then. Uh, uh it's, it's every now and then it's still backwards. Uh, we can help her. Ma I imagine she'll be perfectly fine by the time you arrive home tomorrow. Oh, good to know. Thank you for all you've done, friend. I think I'll stay up and watch over her for tonight. Good for you. Good, good dad. Good dad skills. She's, she's not saying much. She's unconscious. I wouldn't expect her to say anything. Stay up talking to the smith about how his daughter became infected. Apparently, the two came across a lesser demon while out in the woods. They managed to cut the child before the smith cut it down. He tried for days to find a cure himself, fearing what would happen if the people knew of his daughter's illness. Okay. His fears were eventually realized, and that's when you came along. Hm. You talked for a bit longer before eventually going to sleep. Exhausted. I would be. I mean, we just, like, fended off a huge, marauding, like, mob that was trying to kill someone, and then brought him home, and then tried to cure them successfully. The smith stayed up all night watching over his daughter. Good. Is she she's not up yet? Hello. Still asleep. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, there we go. Good morning. You're leaving for work, I assume? Good luck out there. Once my daughter wakes up, I'll find a way to continue working on my craft. I have no intentions of just being a freeloader here. Get, 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 get. Get, 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 get. Okay. Alright. Hey, looks like he stayed up all night last night. I even told him countless times that she'll be fine, but he refused to sleep. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, good luck in work today. Here, the usual. You take the potions and bandages. Yeah, that's great. We've got a great setup going here. Just a whole bunch of friends and an unconscious little girl. That last part is not necessarily part of the great setup, but, you know, it's there. You take a job defending miners from the monsters lurking in the dark winding tunnels. You mean, in a mine! A mine! References. At the end of the day, you use some of the alchemist's medicinal bandages. You can practically feel your wounds vanishing. It's like your 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 reard, like my reard, and return home. Curious as to see how the Smith's daughter is doing. Ah, she is up and about. She's just bright-eyed and bushy-tailed over there. See, there's that backwards E again. There it is again. I don't know what's up with that. She's walking up, as you can see. She seems to be full of energy too. If only she wasn't so shy as to keep it all bottled up. It's a relief to see the two of them safe, though. Considering what they went through, things could have been a lot worse. True. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. She could have become a demon. That's, that's definitely a worse turnout than what it was. Hello! Eh. Um. Wait, this is... Smith's daughter, so... Um, uh, Dad says they saved your, your lives. I don't know how to thank you for something like that, but, um... Thank you, friend. We are in your debt. That's what Dad would say, right? Did that sound okay, Dad? I think they understand, sweetie. Even a grown man like myself can't fight can't find the words to, to thank them for what they did. You don't need to worry about something like that. No, don't worry about it. Ooh. You got 
got something to say? You got something to say to me, sir? She woke up a few hours ago, more full of energy than ever. Glad. Ah, and I also picked up some things in turn so I can continue smithing to some extent here. Only to some. Only some basics. Only to use the nearest town smithy from time to time. Sense. The alchemist said she could look after her while, while I'm out. My daughter is a bit shy around people. But in time, she'll certainly warm up to you both. Looking forward to it. Glad to see we've just got a whole gang of people in here. It's great! I love it. <laughs> the four of you talk about various things for the night. Yeah. The smith's daughter remains mostly quiet by her father's side. Occasionally, he throws a question her way in an attempt to get her to open up some more. That's good. She still seems awkward in the new environment. It seems she'll need some more time to settle in before she can feel completely comfortable around you and the alchemist. The smith's daughter goes to sleep early, and you and the others follow suit a few hours early. Or later. A few hours later. That makes sense. Alright, well, good morning, everyone. Ah, good morning. I've just finished a gift for you. It should help you and keep you safe if your back is to the wall. What? What is it? What is it? He gives you a masterfully crafted dagger, complete with ornate, or, ornate carvings and indentations. Look at that. That's great. I'll have more where that came from. Look at it as my way of saying thanks for everything you've done for us. Sounds good. I love it. That's cool. You saying anything? You saying anything, kid? Eh? Oh, oh, yeah. Just got something to say. Good morning. Please stay safe. No, I'll try to stay safe just for you. Oh, she's so nice. Hey there. Here, you know the drill. Yes, I do. Potions and medicinal bandages. Come home safe. And try not to get too cut up out, out there. You don't want to terrify the poor child. It's, it's fair. Don't want to traumatize her more than she always already has been. Take a job gathering pot and boar pelts. Boar pelts. Nice. Don't know why exactly anyone needs boar pelts, but you don't really care as long as you get a reward. That's funny. Although the wind and snow makes the work uncomfortable, it's an easy day and you turn into pelts to collect your payment. <laughs> you arrive home earlier than usual. Nice. Oh. Where's the dad? Oh, you would still be working. He would, he's still out. Still. So. Welcome back. Um, dad's out at the smithy in town, but he'll be back later on. Sounds good. The alchemist has been looking after me all day. I don't find them. She's funny and really friendly. I've been learning a lot of things about potions as well. Who knows, maybe she will grow up to be an alchemist herself. Or perhaps one of those people in RPGs that like gets to win that like enchants your weapons so that they're stronger and more magic-y. Hello. Oh, I'm walking behind you. Hello. Who can't see me? Can't see me. What am I doing? Can't see this. <laughs> oh hey, you're way you're back way earlier than usual. The Smith isn't even home yet. I've been looking after the little one since he left. I feel like she's opened up a lot as well. She's been taking an interest in alchemy. I taught her to make some basic stuff and she's taking to it pretty well. She has talent. That's good. Yeah. She's also been asking a lot about your work. I think she'd like it if you talk to her, to her about it later on. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Alright, let's settle down. We've we'll talked by the fire. The smith's daughter is clearly more comfortable here after spending time with the alchemist. That's nice. She asks you about your adventures. You tell her about some of your more interesting jobs. Like, you know, saving a and saving some girl from becoming a demon, and hunting for bear pelts, and stuff. 
Her eyes are wide with wonder while you talk about the monsters you've hunted, the people you've met, and anything else that comes to mind. Nice. Smith arrives home, his face lightens when he sees all of you. Or if you stay up talking cheerfully through the night. Lovely. Eventually, you force yourself to go to bed. Sounds like I'm becoming more of a... More of a... Extrovert as we go. I started this whole thing a lone wolf. And here we are, just one big, happy, dysfunctional family. Good morning, friend. I trust you slept well. It's amazing how quickly she's opened up to, you, to both of you. I guess it's all, all thanks to the alchemist. I mean, I was nice to her. I kinda helped save her life. No thanks for that, but whatever. Wouldn't have thought she'd be so good with children. Oh, I'm sorry, just because she's an alchemist? No need to be judgmental here. Good gosh. Anyway, good luck out there. Thank you. So nice. I love that guy. So nice. Good morning. Come home safe, okay? I'll try. And also, um, when you get home, do you think you could show me how to be an adventurer like you? Not really something you learn at home, but... Yeah! I know it's dangerous for my age, but I at least want to know how to use a sword and keep people safe. Okay. Uh, you tell her you'll teach her if it's okay with her father. Really? Thank you. I'll ask him as soon as I'm finished helping the alchemist. Nice. Looks like we got some learning to do. Yo, alchemist, how are you doing? Hey, good luck today. Looks like she wants to help me out with my work from time to time. She really has taken the shine to the whole thing. While talking, she hands you the usual potions and bandages. Nice. Got it. Just a great arrangement. This is just happy. Nothing's going wrong. The day is once again unremarkable. You hunt some animals and gather some meat for a village while the local hunter is unwell. It's nice. Take your payment and return home. All right, what are we doing? What's 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 new in the household? Hey, welcome home. Thanks to the little one, I managed to make enough stock for the day. I can actually relax for once. You're asking why I'm still holding this potion? Yeah, yeah. I guess I am. Honestly, I really don't know. Have it maybe. Maybe it's just that the game developer didn't make a second frame for you. I'm not complaining, it's just was really needed, I guess. Alright, let's... How's it going, Black? Smith. Smith, comma, Black. Welcome back. My daughter's been telling me how she wants to learn to fight. This might surprise you, but I have no problem with it. She should know how to defend herself someday, so why not start young? I mean, my only request is that you use these instead of steel weapons. Gives you a pair of finely carved wooden swords. Sounds good, we're starting with the basic Zelda setup. I made them earlier after she, after she first asked me about learning. They should make things a bit safer than swinging those three foot lit razor blades around. Yeah, yeah, should be. Alright kid, you ready to learn? Get educated. Welcome back. Dad said he'd let me learn how to use a sword. When can we start? We can start right now. We're gonna start right now learning. We're gonna start right now. Teach the Smith's daughter some of the fundamentals of defense and sword play. Evasion, distance, angles, striking. How to do that cool thing where you like rate where you like raise it into the into the sky and then like thrust it into the ground. You know? The basics. The concepts don't come naturally to her, unlike alchemy. She's clumsy on her feet and is easily flustered, but she refuses to stop until she makes some progress. Good. Good for her. After a few hours, she's already better than when she started. She's better at staying at a safe distance and is slightly more confident with her footwork. Nice. You call it, you call it at that for the night. She has much to learn, but she clearly has the drive to keep improving. Awesome. The smith and the alchemist sat nearby and chatted the whole time. 
After you finish training, the four of you eat dinner and talk amongst yourselves. Go to bed afterwards, promising the smith's daughter that you'll... Er... Deuter? Deuter? The smith's deuter? That you'll train with her every day you're able? The smith's deuter. Mm -hmm. Alright. Ha! Ah, well, once again, this game is taking a little longer than I, I expected, judging from the page, so it would only take like 10 minutes. But I'm enjoying it. It's got some cool storytelling, and I'm liking where it's going. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button if you want to leave a comment. Sometimes I read them in a video, so that's interesting. So maybe you want to leave a comment down there. Also, the subscribe button is down there if you have already clicked that before. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you later. Actually, turns out that uh, I only have like two minutes left, so I uh, didn't know that when I stopped the recording. So, here's the rest of... Oh, hope you enjoy it. Greetings, undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Lanky Guy, and welcome back to home. If, uh, it's, it's the morning. It's a new day. It's time to talk to the blacksmith. Man. Man. Life. Good morning. I don't think I've ever seen my daughter enjoy herself as much as when you were sparring last night. That's good. I'm glad to hear she enjoyed it. <laughs> In fact, since we've been staying here, she's been happier and more energetic than usual. All the more reason for me to be thankful to the for the two of you. Oh, oh. It was, it was partly the alchemist. But, like, I'll take some responsibility, I'll take some credit, you know. Seems like she's about to start practicing again already. She only woke up. How much energy does that child have? A lot. Children have a lot of energy. As per usual, take these. Take potions and bandages. Stay safe out there. Nice. How are you doing, kiddo? How are you doing, buckaroo? Morning! I'll be practicing some more while you're out, so I'll be even better by the time you get home. Okay! I better not lose though, because then I'm going to be mad, because I'm competitive. Come home safe! I'll try. Oh man, it's like they're my real family, except that apparently my character doesn't have any family. Spend the day. That's a new font color. Are things gonna change? Spend the day hunting a monster that has been eating a village's crops. Okay. <laughs> Track it down and defeat it. Any injuries you take are quickly remedied, remedied with the alchemist supplies. Okay. Take your payment and set off home. As you trudge through the wind and snow, you realize you've been looking forward to returning home each day. Something you haven't felt in far too long. Yeah. You don't know how much longer this winter will last or if the others will choose to live somewhere else once it ends. Hmm. You would gladly let them stay if they wanted to, and something tells you they might end up doing just that. Nice. That will be a choice to be made much later on, though. Approach the front door and realize that, right now, the only thing you really care about... Is that Oh... That was that 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 was because I have cold, not just because I'm getting most emotional. And that is a little emotion, but dang, that was two minutes. Ah. Uh... Well, dang, that was really lovely. I'm really glad I got to be a part of that. Um. Alright. 